Ooh, this is dark, but here it is. So they go inside mm -hmm. the cave and they yep. activate this super cool rolling door. Yep. Round door. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to let it go this time. Here's mm -hmm. what it looks like from the inside. Good mechanics, good machinery, rolling mm -hmm. very smoothly. What I was mm -hmm. not happy about was this is the door activation mechanism. And mm -hmm. so Gurney Alec is like, only you, sir. Only only the the DNA, only the bloodline yep. of a of a Atreides person. And so then he's like, put your fingers in these holes. But like, what if the war had gone on for like a like a while? It's like thirty years later, and Paul like lost his hands in combat. Like what? What, what are your what are your options here? Toes, send them. Yeah, Gurney is just like <laughs> like sire, put your big toe in these holes. Like like oh, okay, but what if he also lost these? Like sir, like kneel down and like spit in this hole. Like because there's like there's like yeah. just DNA you just spit right. He's good. He's like, like, he's like three, like, <laughs> three fingers and some spit. Three. Yep. What else? What else would trigger? Okay, what else this? Could he could like, he like, he's like Paul. Paul, pull out some hair, like roll it up into like a like a needle, like mm -hmm. poke him in there. I, right? Like, what else are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, would that work? I mean, it's his hair, right? Is his DNA? I mean, okay, actually, that's a security problem because if you are a Benny Jesuit and you need some Atreides fluid, that's right, that you could put into a little pouch and then feed into yeah. each. That would be e e that's child's play okay i got an even easier one it's you vacuum his bedroom and like yeah you're gonna get his hair and a bunch of other stuff but you just throw it all in there and it's, it's like oh yeah there's some oh, yeah. paul atreides in here that's all right oh, there's there also go. like some rodent hair and also some maid's hair like but whatever like you've got some atreides dna you're good to go oh the door opens up if you have good human intelligence that means you have spies in the atreides palace back when they were in power mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. embedded with the fremen you say, hey, collecting DNA you, from the Molotov. You don't even need to do any spying. You just need to collect DNA from him. Just take your time, get it done, and yeah. then you're like Paul, Paul and and Leto. You're super stressed out. Let me help you relax. You give him a little massage. Boom! You got some DNA in your hands. You yeah. put, you scrape it off into a jar. And you're good. So, do you think it? How much? Okay, so how much DNA? Does it need like a big finger, or does it? Know. Can it just be a, a tiny amount? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like this security mechanism. Super not good, right? Yeah. Ableist door. What if he doesn't have a hand? Yeah. What if he's quadriplegic? But specifically the type that doesn't have hands or legs. Wait, what? So you can be a quadriplegic and still have your limbs. We need specifically you don't have things that fit in these holes. Wait, I thought quadriplegic meant you lost all four of your, your major limbs. I thought you can still have them. You just can't use them. Oh. Uh, well, which is which includes the subset of don't have them. Oh, I'm thinking the ones that don't have them. Mm -hmm. But are you saying it includes people who have them, but but can't use them? Like for nerve issues, can't use them. Right. Oh, I see. Like um, let's see, let's see. Um, Stephen Hawking. I think he's quadriplegic, mm -hmm. but he still has his limbs. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Today I, think, I, I think so. I'm. I'm okay. Look up the whatever the word means. Yeah, fucked up door. Totally. Good engineering, but weird door. Also, this. So they throw in this this probe light that floats in front of them. Super good. I want light in front of me. That makes sense. But the way that it lights the room is only in this ring. This is like this is the most horror movie searchlight you can have because like you can't tell what's deep in the room, and and you only get this like narrow scan of what's immediately on this like slice of the room that goes around you. And so like here, here, even in this corner, in this corner, like they're down the hallway. There could be see. something here, and they cannot see that. Right. So, so I when I saw Prometheus, the movie from like 10, 12 years ago, Good movie. they sent these like little ball probes to go yeah. survey caves. Oh, and they, so they did it, like, the same thing here where they like scan the room, yeah. the tunnels. Right. So that makes sense because it's a survey situation where it doesn't need to see everything. It's just going around surveying, mapping it out, sending the data back to HQ. Then you have a full map of uh, caverns or whatever you're, uh, you're surveying. Yeah, sure. Here... Yeah, who are they sending data back to? This isn't right. a survey they thing. They don't have computers. It's like they it's not like this them. little ball thing is scanning the room and reporting it back there and collecting on their laptop right. like an overall map of the right. room. Like this is and just illumination. So it's it is terrible because like okay, so right. right now the illuminator is doing no work. It's helping absolutely nobody. Right. Let, let's let's but, imagine they actually got up to the front of the room so they could see. Yeah. They, it, yeah. And so so maybe the ball <laughs> is like further in the room right now. There could be a monster like on the corner that's close right. to where we're standing, right? And if it ran through, 
they would see it for a flash, just only when it's underneath the ball, and then yeah. it would be back in the shadows. Like, <laughs> that's it's like so a horror scary. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this place could be filled with spiders, you know. And you get this like goes over a giant spider, and then it's gone into the darkness, and you're like, I saw the spider. Was that a poisonous one? I can't tell because I can't see it. I just I saw it. it. I know it's there. Right. But I don't know what it was. Is that a giant centipede, which they talked about earlier? <gasps> it's gone That's again. Right. It's in the darkness. Is there a Harkonnen? I, actually, uh, this is, yeah. okay, I, just, I need a ball of light that shines everything in the room. Everything in the room. I want to see room. everything. This is, just, this is the most horror movie searchlight <laughs> you could have had. It's horrible.